Hi all, the patient that we have here presented with intractable plantar keratosis. It's probably the worst uh, I've seen. Even light touch caused severe pain. So her referring podiatrist was unable to debride any of the lesion with a 10 blade. Um, she declined me debriding the lesion under a tibial block. So this is the first person that I've had to sedate to remove pretty much a corn. So these uh, lesions are more prevalent in cigarette smokers. Um, our lovely lady here smokes two packets a day and she's been doing this for several years. To uh, avoid pain, uh, she has been everting her forefoot so that uh, the second to the fifth metatarsals don't even contact the ground. So we know corns form because of excessive pressure and that with IPK, smoking exacerbates the problem. Uh, I've had the pleasure of having Mohammed, uh, who is a surgical registrar, uh, assist me in theatre for the day. Uh, he is going to go through later in the video in quite a lot of detail regarding smoking and um, how it affects the skin and the formation of the IPK. So I'm only going to really touch on it quite lightly here. After debridement, uh, you can see the underlying fibrosis that's occurred. That is that uh, white scar tissue that is affecting uh, the base of the epidermal layer of skin. When you palpate it, there is very little subcutaneous tissue between the skin and the bone. So smoking causes vasoconstriction of the uh, peripheral blood vessels and can lead to atrophy of that subcutaneous tissue. So it increases uh, the bone to skin contact. And there's also a loss of skin elasticity. So the pl plantar skin becomes a lot less pliable, uh, resulting in increased sensitivity to friction. Leila, how long have you had this problem? How long have you had the problem? Uh, four years maybe. About like four that. years. Okay. Well, tell me if this hurts, okay? No, it's only hurting the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, in that section. And if I put any pressure, that's that's painful. That amount of pressure is painful. And around it, mm -hmm. around that is sore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Everything. How, how much yeah. is that pressure, Mark? Very, that very, very light. That's very light Barely pressure. Touching. That's all. Okay. Over here. Ah. Uh. Okay. So it's sore everywhere, yeah. anywhere, anywhere around Especially that area. Especially here now, because I've been sitting too much. Mm. So nicotine, um, nicotine has a direct cutaneous vasoconstrictive effect, um, and it is the primary vasoactive um, component in the gaseous phase of cigarette smoking. Nicotine also has an effect on the sympathetic nervous system, um, causing the release of um, epinephrine. And epinephrine is going to have a um, vasoconstrictive effect on the cutaneous tissues. This um, release of epinephrine will have, what is also known as a catecholamine, will have an effect on shallows, which are wound hormones. Um, and will limit epithelialization of um, skin um, in, the, in the case where you've had an injury or in this case where you'll um, result in um, atrophy of the skin and the subcutaneous layers and result in more bone to skin contact and callus formation. The other thing that will happen is that you'll have a um, effect from the um, carbon monoxide which is inhaled through cigarette smoke and the interesting thing about carbon monoxide is that it competitively um, binds to um, hemoglobin and hemoglobin um, we know is the carrier of oxygen so it competitively binds to hemoglobin um, competing with oxygen having a 200 times greater affinity for um, for the binding sites than oxygen does resulting in cellular hypoxia. That cellular hypoxia will cause um, a reduction again in epithelialization. It will also cause a reduction in um, collagen formation 
and cause a reduction in um, angiogenesis because we know that um, all of these three things um, occur only in the presence of oxygen. The last thing that um, will happen is that you will um, inhale um, hydrogen cyanide and that will also have a direct effect on cellular um, oxygenation and limit the ability to heal. Now interesting thing is a packet of, packet of day smoker will have uh, a, or hot, will be in a hypoxic state for about um, a full day. This particular case or this particular patient smokes two packs a day and will therefore um, mean that you know having any sort of wound or um, surgical wound will mean that she won't heal anywhere near as well as we'd expect for someone in a healthy state. The other thing that will happen is that secondary to the hypoxic state, um, your, your, so fibroblasts can survive without um, oxygen, but they can't um, cause, they can't produce enough collagen to maintain um, uh, you know, a he healthy skin. The other thing that can actually happen is that you lose some of the elasticity and that's secondary to the elevated neutrophils, elevation in neutrophils. So neutrophils will be elevated in smokers and the elevation in neutrophils will cause um, elevation in the hormone called elastase. And that, that, that elastase actually breaks down elastin and reduces the pliability of the skin. In, and it also means that because the skin is less pliable, that it is actually more sensitive as well. So we, we've taken it as far as we can. Um, I can feel the metatarsal head. That's her second med head. I might um, zoom out a little bit more. So we'll get the other foot too. How are you zoom out? There we go. Okay, uh, you can see the enucleation debridement of all the corns and calluses. I saw Layla again uh, one week after. You can see the, the lesions have already filled in, um, but they are far less sensitive. I can actually poke at it now without um, her jumping. Uh, I have recommended that she see her podiatrist for weekly for debridement so they never get to the same state as they were before. Um, I told her that she would need some orthoses with deflective padding and also custom footwear because um, she has a significant leg length difference. I didn't go through the biomechanical reasons why she developed these corns in this video. I just wanted to focus on um, how IPKs are related, uh, well, are, are exacerbated by smoking. Um, the final thing that I told her, but which she's not going to do, I told her that she should cease smoking or at least cut it down. Um, but I don't think that's going to happen. Anyway, um, thank you for watching.